According to the Mavericks at the Institute of Economics in Zagreb, over a quarter of the tourists who come to do to the Brovnik are simply searching for locations used in Game of Thrones. And thus we take our tails to the Jesuit steps. We need to fix that step. There's something wrong with it. Hello. Hello. Where guide Ivan is scoping the very same spot as one of the show's most massively moving scenes. I will show you the walk of shame from Game of Thrones. Oh, the walk, walk of shame. shame. That was a bit of a walk of shame just then. It was. Why do people have to walk successfully between two points? Let me ask, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Never seen it, have you? Never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Never seen it. Determined to invoice, Ivan produces a pre-approved still of Queen Cersei embarking on her walk of shame. She did some pretty bad things, and it starts with a bell. OK. That's a lovely app. Can I tell you something? You know who the actress is that plays that role? Yeah, I know. Lena Headey? Yes. I just made a film with her recently, a uh, fight with my family, available on uh, Blu-ray, DVD and digital download. Yeah. I could give her a ring yeah, right now. There's another problem. That's this guy might be interested. Couldn't even care less, this guy. <laughs> Before Stephen starts hawking his wares in the street, we hop onto the Ethnographic Museum, which features as a brothel in this most woke of shows. Hello, prostitute, please. <laughs> and who was using the brothel in the show? Uh, little Finger. Don't worry if you can't remember him and you've never seen it, he's yeah. already dead. So... Spoiler alert! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on to the Peeler Gate, main entrance to the old town and site of a famous battle scene. My favourite character was here. Peter Dinklage. Peter, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. You know, he Stadium. once stood on my back. I'm not even yeah. making that up. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Right, so it was on all four. This guy's not impressed by anything. <laughs> he's supposed to be a Game of Thrones fan. I've uh, name dropped twice now. He's still on your back. Okay. Not in no interest. On you go, sir. Then so, I was dropped. Why did he stand on your back? It's not. There's no time. There's I know how fast all, this show moves. All well, we've got is time. I'll just, why did no, he stand I'll on your back? I'll just begin the story what? and you'll I, cut to something oh, else. Some of you being smug somewhere. Why Good. did he stand on your back? It's too late. The secret of this show's lack of success is letting such slights dictate the edit. So now we're at the West Harbour, which doubles as Blackwater Bay in GOT. Ah. Oh. OK. So, that's so how they've it put that in with CGI. Yeah, they put the red keep at the very top Lovely. of the walls and they CGI some boats. Yes. Yeah. They put some props yeah. over there in the middle. And this isn't oh, nerdy. Yeah. This is OK. There's more people interested in this than in the history of the Browning. <laughs> so that's not entirely true, because we're not interested in this either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I check something? Because I'm sure I read that um, in Game of Thrones, Jon Snow died. Is that right? For the first time. Yeah, but he still presents Channel 4 That's News. That's what I thought. Then is he... Christian Gurren Murphy OK, or is he...? Uh, so, no, no, he in and out. came back again. Murphy? Murphy? I killed so, him in that interview. Oh. We've got about as much comic mileage out of the two people having the same name. Thank you for so, the tour. It's been a delight. Enjoy your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Anyone Thank else? you. Cheers. Peace be with you. Peace with you. All right. <laughs> well, then. Um... What a nerd.